Happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday, man. It's your boy Way Too Real, Dick O'Neal, man, sitting in the house, right? Figure I give you my little weekly commentary on this Friday, man, of these weeks, uh, current events and whatnot we've been uh, witness to in uh, these United States of America. First and foremost, I want to ask God to bless the United States of America. Keep us, Lord, and hurry and return Yahshua. For your children. But anyway, let's talk about it. Let's see, this week, State of the Union was it? <laughs> Man, Joe Biden, the biggest liar in the world. Okay. And uh, the worst, most corrupt president in the history of the United States. It's just a fact. Uh, and it was like a joke, man. It's like a sick joke. The whole State of the Union address, and he tried to speak with some type of authority or whatnot, but he tried to drop salt. He, he just create more division, you know. Uh, that's what they do on the progressive left, man, uh, in order to stay in power. Uh, Shouts out to my man with a black conservative perspective, man, for sharing those old Joe Biden videos from 1974. When he was on Congress talking about he was willing to go sunset on all the programs, the Social Security, the uh, disability, the retire veterans benefits, and all that. He did that several occasions, and then it showed also, in case y'all remember, so short that you can't remember in 2020 when he was on the primary, he had a debate. One time he had a debate, it was just him and Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders called him out on all that, what he had done in the 70s. Because, you know, Bernie, the only other senator that's been around long with Joe Biden, you know. So, uh, he's a socialist. He's not even a Democrat, but that's a whole nother story. But demonstrated how Joe Biden just, just lied to the American people. And Okay. Let's just move on from that. Trump gave the best State of the Union, you know, this year. He gave the best one when he was the president in uh, 2020 before they stole the election. Twitter has confirmed that, thank God for Elon Musk, that the 2020 election was, yes, in fact, stolen from Donald Trump due to the manipulation of social media and uh, mainstream media. Uh, all the suppression of these stories of corruption of the Biden family. And I don't even know about the girl who had charged him with rape. They just made her disappear totally. Uh, let's go on this week. Let's go on. The balloon from China. Spy balloon. Man, come on, man. I mean, what y'all expect, bro? The president is... The, Joe Biden is in China pocket, bro. They really running America right now while y'all folks just sleep dumb blind. If the president of the United States is in your pocket, he gonna do what you, you know, your bidding. You gonna make it look good for the for the the two two three people that actually give a damn about the United States of America no more. Cause seem like you know they're supposed to be upholding the Constitution in uh, Washington D.C., but they're trying to rewrite it. And uh, that the founding fathers they had the right track. Yeah, they had slaves back then. Yeah, they was talking about you was three fifths of a man back then. We know all that. Well, let's say it don't apply to us no more. Because there's too many rich niggas out here for y'all to be talking about the white man holding you down no more. All right? So just stop it. You know, the whole race hustling thing is just, it's just ridiculous. My best friends that I know in my entire life have been white. So that whole narrative just missed me. Like I say, we, I was, we, we've been friends long before social media. So we know what's going on. But. Let's see. Black History Month. <laughs> Appropriate that it was in February, being that my grandmother's 92nd birthday was uh, February 8th this week. Today being the 10th of February. I'm so blessed and honored to have her for a grandmother. Man, she is what the American people would call black history, but I call her mother. And I love her to death, and I thank God for her. Let me see. 
Then you got the hype up around the Super Bowl and all this and that. They're so secure, but they can't secure the border right down the street, though. Anyways. Uh, what else? Any mass shootings or something happened this week? I can't remember. There's been so many. Uh, let's see. Oh, my big news in sports, Kevin Durant to Phoenix Suns. Kyrie to Dallas Mavericks. So that's big if you're a sports fan like I am. But, you know, they so woke too, man. I'm about to lose them. I'm about to lose them. And not only that, man, these superstars in the NBA now, man, they're making the game bad. Kevin Durant, the stupidest player in the world. I don't care how rich he is, Jack. I'm going to say that because he should have never left Golden State, man. They built the stadium out there. He had the gold hard hat on, the spike, the shovel. They're finna make him the face of the franchise. He just won two MVPs of the championships uh, with them as his team. So it's like, it's amazing to me that this super ego that he got, he would leave a good team, a winning team, a championship team. He could have did like Jordan. He could have won. We could have put six straight. They won two straight, but he could have put six straight up if he wanted to. If he just stayed down with Kerr and Clay, I mean, they would have did the rest. I mean, come on, man. Anyways, Kyrie Irving, you know, I had a lot of respect for him for when he shared his little truth, a little bit of truth out there from Negroes to Hebrews. And uh, I was all along with him until he, until he apologized. The fuck you apologizing for? Who is you apologizing to? You, you, you got a little knowledge, a little something about your own, understanding about your own history. And and, and folks in the, in the mainstream don't like it. And so you had to pay all this money out to all these uh, PC causes or whatever. Man, you was a sellout, man. Fuck you, man. You know what? You just really need to be a man about it. 2023, we need to make me and me. And I'm going to go ahead and say that, man. All y'all... I hear promoting that old homosexuality, LGBT, elemental P type of shit. Man, get the fuck out of here. First of all, I don't care what you do in your bedroom. It's not none of my business. You feel what I'm saying? I don't care. But when you try to normalize pedophilia, why, you know, the whole thing started with the gay marriage. It's just working its way down. So these pedophiles could come out of the closet so the next Jeffrey Epstein, the one that's out here now, don't have to get killed off in the cell before he could bust all these elite people out, like the Prince of England and Bill Clinton. And of course, we know he was on Jeffrey Epstein playing 27 times, right? Of course, we know that Monica Lewinsky was 18 years old when she was sucking his dick up in the Oval Office, right? Of course, we know that one of the girls who said that Epstein traffickers is seen in a picture massaging his shoulders at the airport. Huh? I'm just saying, man. Anyway, what else we got this week? Bunch of fake weather. It's warm in New York, cold in Georgia. <laughs> Superstorms coming out of nowhere. You know, but you got balloons flying all across the United States. You don't know what uh, what going on, man. Anyways, this is what I want to tell you to make up my round up my weekly rant on weekly current events on this YouTube. Is man put God first, man. The the cultivate and develop a relationship with Him for yourself. I ain't talking about no deacon. I ain't talking about no pastor. I ain't talking about no minister, no evangelist. None of that religious BS, bro. I'm talking about you. Open up the book, the basic instruction before leaving Earth. It's the acronym for the Bible. And find your faith for all. I thank Him. Is the acronym. Find yourself in God's word. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Everything that has been said in that word has been done before. And your ever situation you find yourself in, of course, we all in the end times, whether you know it or not. That's why I encourage you. 
Let your good outweigh your bad, but make sure when you do your good, it's not for no selfish motive. It's for the glory of God or for a genuine need. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I can't give you no quarter before you can get you a beer. But I can give you a word, and I hope it'll be heard. You know what I mean? Stop being a sucker. Stop going for every little bit of bait they give you. And please, if you're a black youth in America, or if you're a white youth, I don't really care nothing about it, but this is just, you know, my take. If the police pull you over, okay, just do what they say. You know what I mean? If they say cuff up, just go on the cuff up. Go see the judge. Don't try to buck on these folk, man. It's just disrespectful and wrong, man. Okay? There ain't nobody perfect, not them, not me, not anybody. But if you want to, you know, Stay alive. I'd advise you to go see the judge, man. Plus, these progressive, they got a, they got a rule. They ain't gonna do nothing but slap you on the wrist, no way. You get out, you be, you get in, you get locked up, you be out for you know it, man. With these liberal policies, with twenty seven city came out this week also. The twenty seven out of thirty the top crime cities in America are run by Democrats. I wonder why that is. No values. No morals. You know what I'm talking about? Just debauchery. Something else that I got to say about the Bible. There's a story in there about Sodom and Gomorrah. You might want to check it out. It's also a story up in there in the book of Daniel Prophecy about the uh, mystery Babylon. It ain't no mystery if you got the spirit. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 go ahead and guide you the right way. United States is the mystery Babylon. That's what it is. And the mystery is over. Just like the gospel, it's a mystery. It's not over. It's over. It's over. Not a mystery no more. Not the mystery of the gospel of Yahshua to say, yeah, the world is no mystery no more. We know. Okay? We know that America is the new Babylon. And think about the punishment God enacted on Sodom and Gomorrah. Man, Sodom and Gomorrah ain't got shit on the United States of America, man. So... Be the best version of yourself, man, 2023, man. Have a blessed year. May God keep you, protect you, and provide for you. In Yahshua's name, I make all my prayers, man. More love, more power. We out. Amen.